hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl splendor and in today's video we'll be drafting seven kinds of neck lines but before we do that if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by kindly like our videos and leave us a comment at the end of the tutorial please turn on your post notification bell to get notified whenever i post new videos and if you haven't shared my videos with your family and friends before please do well to share with your family and friends so without further ado let's get right started all right so this is my paper on my table and like you can see i already draw out my shoulder line and then my chest line all right so after imputing those lines the next thing i'll be doing is to impute my neck measurement for this paper we are drawing out the round neck line so now i am imputing my neck width my neck width is three you can make yours four or four and a half it depends on how wide you want but around the standard is three inches then my neck depth is four inches as you can see so i'll just mark the same four inches on the other side like you guys can see i'm just confirming the measurement to be sure it gives me a perfect square now the reason why i'm doing the square directly is because i want you guys to see how i got the the curve some of us don't know how to use the curve at first trial so i'll just draw it up into a square first then i'll show you guys how i got the round neck so on that middle point there i'll just go up by one inch like you can see so i'll connect that point to the existing midpoint can you see so after doing this now i'll use my pattern master like you know my pattern master has a french curve inside so i'll just use it to get my circle my half circle i mean so you can see it has given me a round neck so now i just want to use my marker to highlight it some more so it can be clearer to see so this is what our round neckline looks like so now i'm going down by one inch on the shoulder side to get my shoulder slant so i'll just connect it for you all to see all right so after doing that the next thing i'll do is to get my armhole curve don't forget that our focus on this tutorial is on the neckline so we won't be taking any measurement for the armhole curve so i'm just using a free sketch to get it all right so this is what it looks like now i'll go ahead to cut it out for you all to see all right this is to enable us have a clearer view of what a round neckline looks like all right like i said our focus is on the neckline but if you're trying this at home if when you want to place your pattern on your fabric ensure you impute all the allowances that you want to put okay so this is what a round neckline looks like all right it is quite different from the scope neckline so i'll just write round neckline like this okay as you can see the round neckline looks like half of a perfect circle all right so i'll just keep this aside and then we'll go straight to do the next one so for this second one i'll be imputing four inches neck width and then i'll impute another four inches neck depth okay so i'll just extend that to the front and then i'll cross check this to get a perfect square so i'll connect the three points together using my pattern master like you can see i usually like to use my pen to draw out my lines should in case i need to make any corrections and then i'll just go ahead to highlight the lines using my marker pen all right so after drawing the line the next thing i'll do is to go down by one inch on my shoulder side 
this is to get my shoulder slant then after getting my shoulder slant i'll just go ahead to use the french curve on my pattern master to draw out my armhole curve like i mentioned earlier our focus here is on the neckline so i did not take any measurements to get my armhole curve so after drawing that the next thing is to go ahead to cut it out for a clearer view so that you guys can see all right these necklines are quite easy and you can try them at home all right so if you're cutting out your square neckline ensure that your neck width is not so wide to avoid your neck from falling off but what we did on this tutorial is just a guide for you guys to follow okay so this is what the square neck line looks like it looks perfect right yeah so i'll just write the square neck line all right now just keep that outside and then we'll go straight to the next neckline so the next neckline is gonna be the scoop neckline i just took my neck width which is four inches and then my neck depth is six inches all right so now i'm just cross checking my measurement and then i'll use my pattern master to connect the three points together to get a square so after drawing the line on that neck width line from the midpoint i'll mark one inch like you can see and then on the neck depth line i'll also mark one inch let me bolden it for you guys to see all right so after doing that i'll use my pattern master can you see the part of it that i'm using and then i'll connect those two points together that is just the difference between this neckline and the square neckline this scoop at that point so i'll just bolden it up for you all to see all right so this is what makes it a scoop all right so i'll connect the points together and then i'll go down on my shoulder line by one inch get my shoulder slant and then i'll use my pattern master to get my armhole curve and then i'll go ahead to cut it out so when you're cutting be careful so that you can get your scoop shape properly okay so there's not much difference between the square line and the scoop neckline they are similar as you can see so let me open it up can you see look at the scoop at the edges so i'll just write scoop neckline like you can see so i'll go to the next neckline which is the sweetheart neckline so i marked four inches neck width and then my neck depth is seven inches so from that point where i marked four inches neck width i'll just go down by four inches and then i'll connect the point to the neck width then from that point i'll use my pattern master the french curve side to draw out a curve connecting it to my neck depth so on my shoulder line i went down by one inch to get my shoulder slant and then i'll just go ahead to impute my armhole curve like you can see all right so this is a sweetheart neckline coming out pretty so i'll just go ahead to cut it out so that you guys can see it clearly this is one of my favorite necklines i love it because it has this girly look it gives to clothes so this is it guys this is our sweetheart neckline i'll just go ahead to write out sweetheart neckline on it like this all right so i'll just keep that aside and go straight to the next neckline which is the asymmetric neckline so i will just mark out like i'm marking out for a round neckline i marked 
a four inches neck width and a four inches neck depth then i'll just go down by one inch to get my shoulder slant and then i'll impute my armhole curve like you can see after doing that i'll just go ahead to cut the excess paper out so this is what it looks like then i'll go ahead to just extend that line some more so that when i'm marking out my asymmetric neckline you guys will see it clearly all right so this is what it looks like now then from that midpoint there i'll just go ahead to mark the exact four inches that i marked for the other side of my paper and then i'll also go down by four inches like i did like just the same measurement with the other side all right so i'll just open it up then from the left side of my paper you can make yours the right side it doesn't matter i'll just go down by seven inches then i'll connect the point from the right side of my shoulder to the midpoint and then down to the point where i marked at the left side of my paper then i'll connect it with a straight line from the shoulder on the left side and then i'll just go ahead to cut all right if you notice this one has shoulder on both sides it's just the neck we created the asymmetric four so our next neckline is the which is our off shoulder neckline so i'll just mark the regular four inches neck width and four inches neck depth like i did for my round neckline so after marking those points i'll go ahead to connect it using my pattern master to get my round neckline okay so on the shoulder i'll go down by one inch to get my shoulder slant and then i'll also go ahead to impute my armhole curve i didn't use any measurement for the armhole curve because our focus is on the neck line so after doing that i'll go ahead to cut it out like you can see okay so this is what it looks like like the regular round neckline okay so the from that midpoint here i will go down by three inches okay so that's from the mid middle of the neckline from the middle of the round neckline and then from my shoulder slant i'll also go down by five inches okay so it depends on how you want your off shoulder to be how deep you want it to be so i'll just connect the points together using my marker pen and note that you are supposed to also connect it using the curve side of your ruler okay this has a way of giving it like uh like a little v in front so some you can also make yours like a sweetheart in front however you want it to be then the next neckline is a round neckline with with an opening in front with a slit in front so i'll mark out my regular three inches depth and three inches width but the total for my width will be seven inches i'll just curve out the three inches depth and width to get a round neck okay like you can see so after doing that then i'll also create my armhole curve then the total neck depth is seven like you can see i just marked out seven the only difference now is that i'll connect from that round neckline to the seven inches and just connect it with a straight line like you can see then i'll go ahead to cut out my round neckline i also cut out my shoulder slant these necklines are very easy to make i encourage you to try it on your clothes at home i like to use this particular one for my shift dress because it has a way of fitting it so can you see that that slits in front i'll just open it up 
and this is it for this one this is the round neckline with slit in front all right they also note that you can also open up that um slit in front some people like to leave it open all right so you just go in by half or quarter of an inch and then you connect from that quarter of an inch to the points like you can see and then you cut it out this is basically it too there's nothing difficult about these necklines all right guys this is all about the seven neckline we've made in this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends and for the new people on this channel please kindly hit the subscribe button let's become family i'll see you guys in my next video but for now stay confident <laughs>